Hey guys, uh, we're going to be testing Care Seal. It's a permanent coolant leak repair for internal combustion engines, um, diesel or petrol. And um, it's designed to save you hundreds, if not thousands, of pounds, euros, dollars. I mean, if you've got a lorry and it's stuck on a motorway, um, it can save you many thousands. And this cost me, I think it's 14 euros, something like that, 14 or 15 euros. So it's almost beyond belief that it can, and it's a permanent repair. When it fixed the cracked head, that's it, it's fixed, fixed forever, you know. Um, it's, there's a, a study running at Brighton University and it's been funded by the UK government um, to fully test all the capabilities of this. It's, it's already been tested um, for a year and it's reached a certain American standard. Um, and I believe it's the first one that's, that's reached this, this, this standard and um, they're going to be studying it for another three years. Okay, I spoke to the engineers at the company. They're based in the south of England and, um, and the product is made in America, by the way. And um, apparently there are two um, sizes of, of this. There's, the, there's this size and um, this is for, for typical cars and there's a larger size which is going to be for lorries, much larger systems which with uh, larger um, uh, amounts of, uh, of coolant. Um, there's a third product called the Ultimate and I asked the engineer about this, you know, what, what, what's this Ultimate product? If this works then why an Ultimate? And apparently it's for um, extreme cold in, um, like for example, in, in northern Canada. And um, it's got a 30% more um, of the formula. And um, it's got some additional lubricant uh, qualities within it. So effectively, for most people, this is going to be fine. And um, it apparently works in 98% of, of the cases. Uh, of all cases. So, um, yeah, it's worthwhile reading the instructions if it's going to save you a grand. Instructions are on the back and then if you peel, there's a, you can peel them back here. I would read those instructions. Um, you know, it's cost you 15 euros to save a grand, you might as well read the instructions. Key is the shaking. Now I shook this and um, and I've tipped it out so we can have a look at it. Um, there was no residue. I gave it a good shake. But it depends on how long it's been stood on the shelf and, uh, and everything. So um, it, it could have settled. It does advise shaking it for 30 seconds. I would do that, definitely. You want it completely and utterly uh, mixed in when it goes into, um, when it goes into the system. But yeah, um, that's it. It's quite liquidy, and you can see the, the the particles and the formula in there. We're going to test it. All right, let's see. Okay, guys, we've got the, got the engine warm. I've touched the radiator, it's warm, so that means the thermostat's open. The uh, header tank is uh, it's empty, so the product should be able to go straight round the engine. Okay, so I'm going to give it a final shake, but it's already nice and fluid. You can see how much um, water vapor is coming out. Okay, so let's try and, uh, and fix it. Here we go. So try not to fail. Okay, I'm going to get some water. And get a bit more in. And then a bit of a shake.
Then we're gonna throw it up. A little bit. Okay, I can see the water. So we've got enough in. Just a case of waiting now and seeing. Should take three minutes. Actually work. Okay, guys. Um, I think. That's uh, that success. It's worked. My God, it saved me, I don't know, a thousand euros. It cost me 14 euros. And it's getting less and less and less. I'm going to leave it running until uh, it's uh, completely, uh, completely sealed. But um, we'll do a report and I'll put some notes up as to whether or not it stayed sealed. But apparently it's meant to be a permanent repair. We're going to find out. All right, but so far, so good. I think that's a win. So, uh, success. Uh, the, um, the vapour that was coming out, that's the small quantity of vapour that was um, coming out of the exhaust at the, um, at the end were, was just residual... Um, water that was left in the exhaust system. I took the, uh, the car for a, a short drive of a few kilometres, and um, when I when I stopped and looked, uh, there was nothing at all coming out of the exhaust. Completely, uh, completely fixed. So apparently, I can I can drop the uh, the coolant and uh, and save it uh, for, for for any future problems. Or I can leave it in. I'm going to leave it in, and I'll prob probably uh, drop it uh, before next winter uh, when I put in um, antifreeze. So it's just going to go round and round, and um, and that'll be fine. Uh, don't forget to to change the oil um, once you've fixed the motor. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's 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 remarkable. Um, I'm going to put up next, so you should see some documentation from um, the test studies from Brighton University and um, the standards report. I don't know how well they'll be readable, but if you put it on full screen and pause, then maybe you can read them. But uh, at any rate, it shows that the studies have been done. All right, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, good luck with your repairs. Okay, bye for now.